Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter, where we thrift with purpose. Hello! Today we're going to begin with this lovely tinware from England. Now this is made by a company called Daher, and this particular platter came out in 1971. When I was growing up, these lovely tin platters and covered tins would show up in the little stores, uh, especially the little drug stores, just before the holidays. And the tins were often filled with licorice all sorts or ribbon candies. And I just loved them. These beautiful plates and um, bowls and platters would be stacked up and all sorts of patterns to choose from. I have very fond memories of these. Here we have a lovely piece of Jeanette glass. It is in excellent, excellent condition. This is a marigold, and this sweet little poodle is an item that I've shared with you before, but as we are redoing um, our inventory and relisting in a newly named store, I thought that I would share this with you today. Our new store should be up and running in the next several days. Here we have a lovely piece of uranium glass. This lovely ruffled vase I found, uh, I was thrifting with my second oldest son, and I was the next in line, and while I was waiting, I just happened to look up on the shelf next to me, and there it was, $2.50. And I always carry a black light with me, I just knew it was uranium glass. And my son was watching me, and he came over and asked me, is it? And I said, yes, it is. Isn't this lovely? I have collected several pieces of uranium glass in the last few months. Nothing particularly special, but they are lovely under a black light. And I've put a little collection together for my son also. And this little fellow is absolutely adorable. And I think his name is Max. When I was growing up, there was an old couple across the street that had a schnauzer named Max and he's got such a sweet face and this piece is by Napco and uh, I just think he's wonderful. He was a quarter. This little fellow with the funny face is just, um, he was sitting next to Max on the shelf and I had to bring him home. Now, it was never my intention to start a figurine collection, but I was picking up basset hounds for my friend Lisa, and that's what happened. Here we have this lovely Lusterware cream and sugar set. And I just think it's very pretty. Now, it was $2.99, but it was half price. It was on the half price shelf at this particular Missions Thrift Store and so I picked it up for a dollar and a half, roughly. It is made in Japan and I think it's lovely. Now here we have what one would think is a salt or pepper shaker. It is not. It is a small hat pin holder. And I'm going to do a little project with this down the road. I do love orphan salt shakers and at first I thought it might be but no it is a small hat pin holder. Here we have a lovely set of Lusterware salt and peppers. Now, oddly enough, 
these little fellows were tucked inside the creamer and all four pieces were that dollar and a half, 50% off. They were taped inside the creamer and they all came together as one set. That was a very nice day and I'm going to keep these little salt and peppers for a special project. They're very cheerful. Here we have a lovely French hair receiver. And as you can probably see, it is damaged right along there and there. And I'm going to be doing a Kintsugi repair on this. There's a little chip right there. And when I finish my Kintsugi project, I will share that with you also. This beautiful little hair receiver had been sitting in the counter under the glass for several weeks and I thought, well, if it's still there when I visit the next time, I'll get it. And it was. It was $4.99 and I went ahead and picked it up. I thought it would be a good project for Kintsugi. As you can see, there's a little bit of restoration that needs to be done right there right in there. The Victorians used to use these little dishes to collect their hair out of their brushes and they would use that excess hair in special hairstyles. It would fluff areas of their hair up. I think this would be a super little addition to a desk or your nightstand or dresser and perfect for loose change. This beautiful covered coffee cup, I paid $2.50 for this. I had one years ago, but my mother-in-law needed an emergency present for someone and I had just purchased mine from Lillian Vernon. I never even had a chance to use it and I was never able to get another one again after I gave that to my mother-in-law for her emergency gift. And the other day I found one. So I'm just delighted. And this will be my family room coffee cup. So pretty. Here we have another lovely Victorian hair receiver. This one was six dollars. It was made in France and it is in absolutely lovely condition. This one needs no repairs at all. These can sell between $12 and $22. I like the idea of thinking of a repurpose for these little hair receivers. Here we have a lovely gold filigree trinket box. This beautiful little vintage trinket box will be added to my personal vanity. I've been slowly finding little pieces here and there and I was thrilled to find this for $4. Uh, that is what I paid after the 50% off on 50% off day. And here we have a lipstick holder. I purchased this for 50 cents 
and I'm going to regild this and put it on my own vanity. Here we have a lovely ruby and gold Fenton shoe. Now I, my dear friend Lisa, she just loves the color red and I gave her my red hobnail Fenton shoe and I thought I will find another one one of these days and I was out shopping with my oldest son when he brought my grandchildren up to visit and I found one. And what is kind of fun about this one is that it has its original sticker on the inside right there and it is signed by Randy Fenton so I found my red shoe and I'm just delighted and it'll go up in the Fenton shoe window with my other window jewels my mother just loved these little shoes. She'd be tickled pink if she were here. And lastly, we have this sweet set of apple measuring cups. They're absolutely adorable and perfect for the country kitchen. And these were a dollar. Well, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and please hit the notification button for upcoming videos. Thank you so much and you can now find us on Instagram. The links will be in the description below. Have a lovely day.